What is up guys, my name is Nick and today I'll be showing you guys how to get gold camo on all of your assault rifles, SMGs or whatever you need to get it on in order to get a diamond camo for that class and guys once you get diamond camo for every single gun in the game you unlock this new camo, I think it's called like black something, I'm not, I'm not sure what it's called but apparently it's a lot better than diamond camo, a lot nicer than it and a lot more rare because you know you have to get every single thing diamond in order to unlock that but guys I got my first gold camo yesterday uh, before level 30 I think before even level yeah before level 30 i think i got my first gold camo on the icr now it took a while to get but that's because of the long shots and stuff which i'll get to in a minute and i'll tell you guys how to get those a lot better but long shots are really tough in this game now guys treyarch makes nice camos in other call of duties i really don't care about going for gold camos or for a diamond or whatever but treyarch's gold it's so shiny it's so bright it's so nice and their their diamond is just amazing i just want to get those camos like their camos are beautiful in uh, the black ops series so guys I'll teach you quickly. I'll show you guys a class that I use and why I use these attachments and stuff to get uh, to get um, the headshots and stuff like that. And then I'll show you guys everything else. So first off, I have my ICR. You can use any gun you want, of course. And I do use red dot sight. If you're using an assault rifle, use red dot sight. Don't use anything else. I use the iron sight. Don't use uh, I forgot what other sights they have, like the Varix three. Don't use that kind of stuff. Just simply use red dot or the BOA three, BOA three. And uh, when you use that, uh, it's a lot easier to get headshots because I find that when you use the iron sight, for some odd reason, your gun doesn't have as much recoil. So if you're aiming at the chest, you're most likely not going to get a headshot. But when you're aiming at the chest with the red dot sight, your gun's going to bounce a little. The flinch is going to be pretty crazy and you'll end up getting that last bullet hitting on the person's head, which uh, in turn gets you guys a lot of headshots. I average about five to ten headshots a game, which is pretty good, pretty good. And that's what I'm going for. I'm not going for high scoring games. I'm literally just going for headshots. Uh, the next attachment I use is grip. Now you might say grip is not a good thing to use, but when you're aiming at the person's head, you don't want your gun to flinch over his head or anything. You don't want it to bounce over the head because then you're just not going to get the kill at all, especially if he's shooting at you. With grip, you'll be able to stick on his head and get those kills a lot quicker. And then with that being said, with using grip, I use stock so I can move faster while aiming down sights. Now stock, guys, it's a little... Uh, useless in this game at the moment. It doesn't do much. You don't move that much quicker aiming down sights than you do without it. But uh, after that, I use quick draw, I believe, and then I use high caliber. So headshots do increase damage. And you definitely, definitely, definitely want to use high caliber when going for headshots because you could get those kills in like one or two bullets rather than two or three, which is a huge, huge thing. And then depending on what I feel like, I either put on long barrel or put on two perks instead. And now the perks that I do have on is Tactical Mask and Ghost. Those are actually one of the two only perks I find useful in this game, along with Flak Jacket. Everything else, I'm just not that into the perks. But guys, all right. So the thing that I had a lot of trouble with was going for long shots. Long shots in this game seem like they're impossible. Half the maps are built without any long ranges to get those long shot medals. So what I had to do is I tried a few maps. I tried Metro, couldn't get a long shot. I tried, uh, what's that winter one, the World War II one, Infection, couldn't get a long shot except for on one side of the map, and that was okay, but then I'm like, you know what, I tried the beta map, I think it was called, uh, not Evac, I think it was Hunted, I believe it's called, I tried that one, and that one actually does have a long uh, range of sight, so if you know where the B flag is in Domination, that little room that you could jump up over the waterfalls on the side, uh, you could stand in there and aim down the sights into the room across on the other side of the B flag and simply get those long shots right there. Those count as long shots and uh, that's probably the best thing to do. I got, I think, all 10, uh, uh, all 10 long shots in two games. That was actually pretty good. And then you have stuff like Bloodthirsty. When you're, when you're going for Bloodthirsty, guys, don't rush and stuff. Stay a little campy because you want to get those. You have to get, I believe, five Bloodthirsties in order to unlock the gold camo, I, I think it is. Uh, not the gold camo, but uh, to unlock one of the other camos. So yeah, it's five Bloodthirsties to unlock the Chameleon. And then you got to get the burns cam, which is pretty easy, 50 kills without any attachments. And then the bliss. Bliss is actually super nice, that pink camo. Uh, you got to get 50 kills with one optic and five attachments. Pretty simple stuff, but the hardest one would be long shot. Anyways, guys, I hope you take these tips that are pretty damn good. It got me my first gold gun pretty quickly. I'm already at level 40 and close to my second gun being gold. And that's the fastest I've ever gotten gold stuff in this in uh, Treyarch game, guys. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll make sure to smack that like button if you did. My name is Nick. Subscribe if you guys are new around here, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.